you are losing thousands of dollars by having terrible cold email scripts. So in this video, I'm going to show you the exact principles so you can write your own killer cold email scripts that print meetings. And I'm going to show you the exact templates that were booking me four meetings per day in my agency. Hi. My name is Matt Lucero, and I run a B2B lead generation agency called Anevo Marketing that works on a pay-per-show basis, so you only pay for the meetings that show up. So if that sounds like something that'll interest you, you can click the link in the description, and you can use that to book a call and chat with me directly to see if we're a good fit. Otherwise, let's just get on into the video. Let's dive straight in. So in this video, we're covering templates that print meetings and exactly how you can write your own cold email template so you can do something similar. So first we're gonna cover the principles of writing good cold email copy. So the first tip that I'm gonna to give to anybody who wants to send out cold emails, regardless of what you're doing, you need to have a good offer, okay? The analogy I like to use is that you can only put so much lipstick on a pig because regardless of how good your copy is, if you have a terrible offer, no one is going to reply to your cold emails. And I mean nobody. You can learn this the hard way by doing this yourself. I would not recommend it. Just try and start off by selling something that people want because I don't know about you, but this pig does not look very attractive to me. The lipstick only does so much, so you can only do so much with your copy to make your offer sound good, but if you just have a terrible offer, then nobody's gonna wanna respond to your cold emails, you're not gonna get any meetings booked, and it's just gonna be a disaster. So how to make your offer better? The number one thing you can do is lower risk for the people buying your stuff. You can do this in two ways, by either guaranteeing results or working on a performance basis. Personally, in my agency, I work on a performance basis. Other people guarantee results, and you can do both. What this basically does is it makes it more of a no-brainer for someone who wants to buy your service, because if you guarantee results or you work on performance, then the chances of them getting the actual result that you're guaranteeing is a million times higher. The second point that I would say to make your offer better is to solve actual pain points in the market. I say this because some people just try and sell stuff that the market doesn't want. A perfect example is saturation. A lot of people think that market saturation is a bad thing, when in reality, it's a good thing because it means that the market actually wants to buy what you're selling. So if you're selling something that nobody has ever sold before, that could be a bad sign, that could also be a good sign, but generally, if you're just starting out, I'd recommend selling stuff that people actually know that they want because then you know there's actual demand for it. Another piece to make your offer better is to do it faster. So if you, let's say, get leads for people like I do, one of the ways you can make your offer better is to guarantee that you get leads in 30 days. Say you can get them in 14 days. If you can get it in one day, that would be a better offer. So having some sort of time element in your offer, let's say you make short form content videos. If you say that we can do it in a day, then that has way more value than saying that it takes two months. So that's just an example. And I would recommend reading $100 million offers by Alex Hormozzi. Shout out Alex Hormozzi if you're lost because it's a killer book on how to craft good offers. Number two principle for writing cold email copy is to keep your copy short. If your copy is too long, nobody will read it. Okay. Imagine you open your email and you see this. Okay. You open your email, all that text is there. I don't know about you, but you're not reading that. Okay. <laughs> this is just a big block of text. I don't know who just emailed me. I don't know what you want. So why would I read your cold email copy, especially if it's this long? Nobody's reading that copy. So the shorter your copy is, the better. So remember that whenever you're cold emailing someone, they don't know who you are, you're interrupting their day, so write like you are. So make it short and make it sweet and that'll make your cold email copy perform way better. And then the third point that I wanna bring up is to personalize your cold email copy. If you try and speak to everybody, you speak to nobody. And I wanna illustrate this with an example. So the example is I can help your business make money versus I can help your frozen yogurt shop increase yogurt sales by 40% in the next 30 days. So think about if you're a yogurt shop and you got this message, which one are you responding to? It's pretty obvious. In my eyes, I wouldn't respond to this because it sounds like something you just blasted out to 10,000 people, which is probably what you did versus this one, which you took a more personalized approach. All you did is called out that they are a frozen yogurt shop, tailored your offer to exactly what you're going to provide and give them a time frame. So if you think about the exact type of person that you're reaching out to and write the emails, if you were talking to them specifically, not a whole audience of people, but that person specifically, your cold emails are going to convert way better. So you can achieve this by a handful of ways. One of the ways that I like to do it is just call out stuff about them. So in this example, if you use a vague thing like calling out that they run a business that's very vague and that's not even personalized versus if you call out frozen yogurt shops like you're reaching out to frozen yogurt shops, then it feels way more personal. So calling out their industry, the market problems. So let's say 
Another example is that we help frozen yogurt shops unclog their yogurt machines, okay? You wouldn't send that message out to a dog groomer because they don't have frozen yogurt machines. So calling out market problems is another way that you can personalize it, or you can use AI purse lines. Personally, I don't recommend AI first lines because they really just aren't as effective and they cost a lot of money. But the main point is just to make sure it's relevant. Make sure it's actually relevant to your business because if you call out a frozen yogurt machine and you reach out to a dog groomer, then it's not going to look good. So these are three principles that you should use whenever you're writing your cold emails. So let's dive into subject lines. The goal of writing a good subject line for cold emails is to create intrigue. What that means is just getting them to open the email. That's it. All you're trying to do is get them to open the email, nothing else. You're not trying to sell them on the service. You're not necessarily even trying to tell them what's inside the email. You're just trying to get them to open the email. So here's some example subject lines that you can apply right away in your cold emails to help skyrocket your open rates. So the first one, quick question. This is one that I'm sure a lot of you have heard if you've been in the cold email game for a long time. If you haven't, then this might be new to you, but quick question has worked well and continues to work well. Maybe in the future it won't, but the reason why it works so well is because it just creates intrigue. Whenever you see quick question and then your name, you're just wondering what's inside the email. So it creates a lot of intrigue. Another option you can put is just their name with a question mark. So if you got an email and it just says John question mark, it's probably gonna raise some eyebrows and get you to open the email. So that's another way of doing it. Thoughts is a good one, and question for name. So these are just four examples, but what I want you to notice is that it's just about creating intrigue, okay? When you see all these subject lines, it instantly makes your brain think, what is inside this email? And that's how you know it's a successful subject line. So going into the body copy, so you wanna use all the principles that were stated above here, but here's just a general layout of what body copy in a cold email looks like. So you can have a personalized intro, that's optional. You present your offer, which is what you're selling. A case study, it's optional, but also useful. And then the call to action. So these are pretty self-explanatory, but if it doesn't make sense, intro, you're just introducing yourself or calling out something about them. Offer is what you're selling, you're trying to get them to do. Case study is showing that you actually know what you're doing. And the call to action is actually just showing them what action to take next. So here's some templates that you can directly plug into your business to use for cold emails to make your cold emails convert way better. So here's just a standard cold email template that I would just recommend. If you don't know what you're doing, it's very simple and it just gets the job done. It's pretty much the most standard cold email you can run, which is just hey name. So first you want to start basically off all your cold emails with hey first name. We can help industry get result by using mechanism and then insert a case study, interested in learning more. It's that simple. You don't need to write a big paragraph like this, which is where most people get lost. They'll write some big thing talking about their founder's history, the company's history, the in-depth mechanism, exactly what's gonna happen after you buy. None of that, you need to just scrap all that and just keep it super simple. So intro, offer, case study, call to action. So in this first template, it's just, hey name, we help you get result by using mechanism, case study, interest in learning more. So here's an example of using this template in action. Hey John, we help painting companies get three new jobs per month by using our painting accelerator program. We just did this for Jimmy's painting and they got six new jobs in the first 19 days. Interested in learning more. So this is a really effective cold email because it just calls out the exact audience. You call out that you're targeting painting companies. You're telling them the exact result that you're getting them per month. You're giving a time frame, and you're giving a mechanism using our painting accelerator program and you're giving an example. So we just did this for Jimmy's painting and they got six new jobs in 19 days. It's a pretty simple email, but a lot of people mess this up because they make it way too long. They talk about the ins and outs of the painting accelerator program. Once again, just like with the subject line, you're just trying to create intrigue to get them on the call. With the subject line, you're just trying to get them to open the email. With the email, you're just trying to get them on the call and then on the call, you can do the selling. Another example of a cold email template that's working really effective right now is just a one-liner. Uh, this works really well just because of the simplicity, it makes you seem not automated and it just works really well because it gets directly to the point. So, hey name, would you be interested in offer? Yes, it is that simple. So here's an example. Hey John, would you be interested in getting more painting jobs? If you got this cold email, it's super easy to respond yes or no. It's really easy from the prospect side because you're not trying to send a bunch of words that they're, you know, most people just have really bad attention spans is what I'm trying to get at. And so if you can use that to your advantage and just get straight to the point, especially when they don't know you, then that will help you book way more meetings. So just getting straight to the point with a one-liner, 
of, of a problem around your offer can help produce really good results. So the next example is the case study example. So we use case studies in this one, but this is uh, centered around the case study. So hey name, here's a personalized first line, was searching for industry and came across your website. We just helped another industry get result and time frame and was wondering if we could do something similar, interested in learning more. Basically, here's an example of what that looks like because that's kind of uh, complicated. Hey John, was searching for painting companies and came across your website. We just helped another painting company get five jobs in the past 17 days and was wondering if we could do something similar for Williams Painting, which is an example of a company interested in learning more. So this is really effective because you're just interlinking the case study into the actual offer statement. You're saying we help someone else just like you get the result that you want and was wondering if we could do something similar. So it comes off as pretty casual, it gets straight to the point, it highlights the benefit of your service, and it uses a case study to do it. So this is really effective, and something that I would recommend if you have solid case studies. Here's another template that you can use, the video strategy template. So, hey name, I was browsing your website and had a couple of ideas of how you could fix pain point. I record a quick video showing you how you can fix pain point, is it okay if I send it over? So in this strategy, you're actually going to have to record videos using a software like Loom or OBS, which is what I'm recording this video with. So as long as you're okay with that, that can work really well. And it's really effective because if people say you record them a video, they're more likely to want to see it. An example of how you can use the strategy is, hey, John, I was browsing your website and I had a couple ideas of how you could get more painting jobs. I just recorded you a quick video showing you how you can get five more painting jobs in the next 15 days. Is it okay if I send it over? So I would imagine that if you own a painting company and someone showed you exactly how you can get five painting jobs in the next 15 days, you'd probably send a response. So you can apply this to basically any industry, but you just wanna highlight the pain points of that specific industry. So in this example, it's getting more painting jobs. I don't know if that's really a pain point in the painting industry, but it's just an example. So these are all email one ways or email one templates that you can use. But here's an example of a follow-up you can use. So you're gonna send out these emails. Some people aren't gonna respond right away. So here's a follow-up template that you can use. Hey name, I just wanna circle back about offer, insert case study, interested in learning more. So it's basically the same formula we're using, but you're just saying that you wanna circle back because it's the second email you send them. So an example of how this would look is saying, hey John, just wanna circle back to see if you wanna get five more painting jobs. We just helped Jimmy's painting get six new jobs. High level overview, I basically ran over the stuff really quick, but if you wanna look over it again, there's the standard template where you cover um, your offer and insert a case study with a call to action. There's the one-liner, which is you just asking them if they're interested in your service. There's the case study template, which is giving them a personalized first line, and then inserting a case study that you got for a similar client in a similar industry and asking if you can do something similar. And then the video strategy where you can offer to fix a pain point using a short video explaining how. The follow-up's pretty standard, just asking if you wanna circle back with a case study. So that's basically everything in a nutshell. If you watch the end, which you have, uh, I have a surprise for you, which is in the description. I have a full cold email masterclass, which shows you how to set up your own cold email system for free if you wanna do it yourself, which includes copy, how to set up the actual inboxes, how to set up a good offer, basically everything A to Z. So if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you, check the link in the description. Otherwise, I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, throw a subscribe, throw a like, share it with someone else, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.